to another video on my channel, The Life of Jasmina. Today I'm going to be telling you guys a story time on how I awkwardly got suspended over a water bottle being thrown at a young lady that we were friends, but yeah, I'm going to get into that. I literally got six days over throwing a water bottle. Um, was it worth it? No. And I should have used my hands. But before I get into it, so love, nigga. I would appreciate a like, comment, and a subscribe. So, let me get into the details. So, this happened when I was in, I had to be like a sophomore. I don't think it was a, I don't think I was a freshman. I was definitely a sophomore. It's between one of them. And the girl that I had got into it with, we started off cool. Um, I'm going to call her for this story Slippy because the reason I'm calling her Slippy is because she went viral in our school, our high school, for basically about to fight, but she fell. Like, before she could even hit anybody, she ran up and fell, and, and it was just over for her. But I still stood beside her because I'm not a fighter, and I didn't really know her like that. And, I mean, at least she fought. Some people be scary. She didn't really fight, though, but it was just, like, it was embarrassing. I'm not going to lie. But let me get into the real details. Um, so we became cool just by association with other people. Um, she never really gave me a hard time. We had a geometry class together. And like I think we started being cool by like her being like a girly girl, getting her nails done, getting her hair done. Like She was a girly girl. But I do remember we got to a point where we were like texting. But it would never be so close to where we like best friends. We were not best friends. We were, weren't really close. But we were like, you know how you got some friends that you could kick it with and just be cool with. You're not close, but you have a good time with them. And that's how it was. We had a class together. We had like three classes together throughout the year. So I'm 24. So it's been a minute since I've been in high school and that was like sophomore year. So that was like what, 2017, 2016, 2015. So bear with me. Um, we will often partner up when the teacher will be like, um, this assignment, grab you a partner. And you know, so we're doing that. Um, so we ended up getting cool because we had the other class and just by us having a class before the second class, we like we were the only two that knew each other for real like she was the only one I knew so I would talk to her more so we just ended up getting close like I said but not close to where we like besties hanging out outside of school or those classes we was just hey girl you know I know you you know it was not fake it was genuine I thought so yeah we had the little elective where it would be half sophomore and half like senior we had like a sophomore junior mix I think it wasn't senior it was a sophomore junior mix so we got cool and then this guy i guess he ended up either he was already in the class i'm gonna call him speedy because he was a track play he was in track and he was well known like colleges were looking at him so i will give him that so she knew him so just by her knowing him and playing around me being one of her friends he'll often play around with me we'll make jokes and by that i didn't know that him and the girl talked like, the way they would talk to each other was, like, frenemies. Like, they couldn't stand each other, but were, like... Like, I just didn't see any romance from it at all. But, you know, me being younger and awkward, I didn't really pay attention. Like, I, I minded my business. So, it got to a point where he would clearly, like, kind of be flirtatious towards me. Like, he would kind of play her, like, be, like... Like, he would low-key dog her, but, like, she'll laugh it off. She never told me that the thing is... I didn't know they were, I didn't think they talked, like I said, because they were really playful, more like friends, like they were just like frenemies, but now I see that kind of be how it is, but it might be me and this girl not that close, so she didn't tell me who all she talked to, but it was a rumor going on around the school that she was Whore. No, I'm saying. going, she was going, like she was dating a lot of people and doing a lot but that wasn't my business but i didn't pay it no attention because i'm the type of person that i'm gonna try to get to know you before i listen to a group of people that get together and hate you because sometimes it just be i just sometimes it has backfired on me and i should have listened to people like no like she's but i just you know i never got any bad energy from her until this event we're in the class the guy speedy 
she um one day he actually you know we'll be giggling and stuff and i'm like he funny i'll be cracking up and one day he in front of her was like low-key really trying to talk to me and she because they're playing like they're dogging each other behind his back in the desk she like she mouthed don't talk to him and i'm just laughing like girl bye like i thought she was saying it to like joke like she wouldn't tell me why though like she didn't tell me why so i thought she was playing that is a mistake i'll take on my part because i did like take his number but it was like just the way they were interacting with each other like i said i'm a person i can read when somebody's talking at least especially better now but it didn't seem like he really liked her the way he was like dogging her looking she'll be laughing it off so i was confused so i'm like i'm gonna go for it and me and the girl like i said we were cool but we were just acquaintances like we wasn't besties like that so i get his number and you know as i'm talking to him i'm talking to him on a low like he we not really, you know, I'm a low-key person, especially when I first start talking to somebody. So I'm not really trying to, you know, make it on me and him talk because I don't know what his motives are. And we're in high school. So, you know, I just, he's in a higher grade than me and I'm not trying to get wrapped up. And he's like a hotshot track star at the moment. So I'm like, nah, I'm just going to see what he, you know. So we get to FaceTime and we're talking and I ain't going to lie, like, I found him very childish like we would get on FaceTime after school and it would just not like he wouldn't know how to talk to me like I was just bored and like he would just be trying to I don't know it just wasn't I wasn't feeling him like that so Ugh. um I think he rode his bike to see me one time and then I was that and plus I really wasn't allowed to date like that so like I had to be low-key so it really wasn't going nowhere so i get to class i notice as she clearly noticed like he was trying to talk to me so she kind of slightly started distancing from me she stopped really texting me like i could tell she was getting jealous and then i start thinking like hmm because of her mouth and like don't talk to him you know i asked him in private just me and him i'm like did you used to talk to slippy and he was like no i've never dated that girl like, I don't even like I don't know what I got to so I'm like okay one day we get in class we still cordial though but I just noticed her kind of like you know side eyeing me a little bit like we in the class that's without speedy the geometry class and we pair up as partners again and she, you know we having a regular conversation and we all cool and I keep getting notifications on my phone. And she like, who is that? Speedy? And I was like, yeah, it is. No, she was like, who is that? Speedy? And I was like, yeah, but I'm not really feeling him. I'm about to stop talking to him. So I see her pull her phone out low key. And I guess she start texting. So I'm like, hmm, okay. And she had a clear attitude. Like she's frustrated. She like... Well, I told you not to talk to him, and I feel that's kind of fake that you start talking to him. And I, I said, because I used to talk to him, and that was my first love, and we dated for two years. So I'm like, well, I understand. I'm sorry. You know, me personally, like, I didn't get mad at her because I'm like, okay, I clearly hurt her feelings, and she still has feelings for this guy. And because I was more loyal to her and closer to her, I was like, okay, I, I'm about to stop talking to him anyway. I don't like him. So I'm going to just tell him I don't want to talk no more. So she like, oh, so you don't want to talk to him now because you already did. I'm like, no, but I'm really not feeling him. So I'm going to back off. And I'm like, I ain't trying to offend you. So I'm about to stop talking to him. And I showed her, like, I'm like, I don't want to talk no more. And he was like, bet, you know him, he he childish as hell anyway. So he gets salty. So behind my back, she's texting Speedy. Like, she says she never really liked you for real. And da 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 Yeah. What you over here being messy for? You know, she's trying to play. Like, she don't know if she want to be mad at him, me, being delusional. Because I, I then I got irritated with her because she started getting flat at the mouth with me. Like, it's like you want my leftovers. And I let her slide because she ain't never got lippy with me. Like, we were genuinely cool. So, I'm just like, this girl hurt. And I'm not trying to get into it. But she rubbing me the wrong way. Because I'm like, okay, girl, it's not that serious. I'm really not about to keep talking to her. I'm not the type 
to fight over a dude that I, if I'm saying I don't really like him, what do you want me to do? So I quit, you know, I break up with him, show her. And she's like, um, it's cool. You know, she's brushing off like it's cool, but I know she's sorry. But I'm like, um, just so you know, he, he told me that he never talked to you. Like I asked him and he said he never talked to you, never claimed you. So that made her even more mad. Instead of her getting mad and going off on him, she started getting salty with me, but she didn't show it right away. So we kind of, you know, the energy is intense. It's off. Like, I know she she's pissed at me. She, and I'm like, if you don't want to be cool, like, I'm in my mind. Like, if this girl don't want to be cool, that's fine. I have my best friend. She's never been that, like, close to me. So I'm okay with just, you know, distancing. Like, you mad at me? You really like the dude. I get it. If it was a dude I really like, it's been like it gets like that sometimes. I'm like, whatever. We don't have to be cool. I'm not gonna talk about you. You don't talk about me. But guess what happens? So about a week, because clearly we weren't feeling each other. So I just stopped talking to the girl. I stopped texting her for real. I just he kept my distance because I didn't like how she was talking to me. Like she trying to play me like, you know, just getting real smart with me. I'm not that type of person. I don't need to, if I don't want to talk to somebody, I'm not going to talk to somebody. I'm not going to lie. If I said, I would have told her I like him and went from there, but I, I already wasn't feeling him before she even found out. Like I said, a week go by and we're in that same class, but we're not really talking. And, you know, I'm, I'm noticing her energy kind of like on some, she talking to a mutual friend that's also friends with us in the class, but he irrelevant because he not really, he's a guy and... He also a well-known person around the school and she's telling him about the situation and he cool between us both. So she trying to get attention from it. She's still mad. I let the shit go. I stopped talking to the dude. So I'm just like, whatever. But I noticed her talking about me because she keeps side eyeing me and he laughing. I'm like, okay, so she, so I'm like, okay, I'm peeping it and I'm, you know, I'm not going to do nothing because I, like I said, I'm not a confrontational person. I'm not a fighter. So when I, when drama comes to me I'm so anxious like I don't like it I will eat some drama up when it don't got nothing to do with me even though now when I say I'm not confrontational I'm not saying I'm gonna be passive aggressive and have a problem and keep throwing rocks I don't start stuff with people she started with me but to get into it I noticed they talk you know she's talking about me so you know I, I brush it off but the guy he cool with me too so he come up to me like don't tell her I told you, but she talking shit. Like, she like, excuse my language, she's talking stuff. And she's like, she want my leftovers. She's mad. She, um, she mad because she had my leftovers. And I feel like she trying to be like me. So me being the person I am, she's delusional. I'm like, girl, you're, no offense. Like, I'm not slut shaming nobody because I wasn't innocent. But I was more low key. But I wasn't ran through. But everybody that I was cool with, all our mutuals, she was known for being ran through. And it was just like, for you to be trying to like make it like I would want to be like you, baby girl, I don't know where you're getting that from. But I wasn't known for messy stuff. I'd rather be private and low-key than be known for something embarrassing. Now I'm, I'm irritated because she's making it a big deal. Like, I purposely went behind her back and stabbed her in the back. I'm like, I didn't even like, I'm like, girl, we wasn't that close for you to be that bothered by that. Like, yes, you be bothered, but you dragging it a whole other week. I haven't said nothing about you. I'm not telling people about it. I let it go. I said, I'm sorry. I stopped talking to him. Like, what more do you want from me? What more do you want from me? <laughs> so the dude even, because of her being shady and texting the dude behind my back telling him speedy what i said he started coming at me crazy like you corny anyway da, 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 da. but i'm like boy whatever i don't want to talk to you i don't care so now she's starting drama between him me and him too and i'm like it's crazy that you're going back to talk sh talk stuff about me to a guy that said he never claimed you like you're a dummy you're a dummy but bitch. i'm like whatever and she's just dumb and delusional. I'm getting fed up because they're both being weird. I block him and I just stop talking to him, like ignoring him, avoiding him. Even if we walk in the hallway, I'm avoiding both of them. But it was one day, like I said, when he came, when the friend that was a mutual between us came and told me that she said what she said a week later, I blew up. 
I went off in a rant to him and she happened to hear me, but I never confronted her. But she heard it and people was like, she's blowing down on you. She dogging. Because I started dogging. I'm like, I know this bitch not trying to say I'm trying to be like her, girl. You know him for being ran through. And I'm dogging her because it's like, I'm like, I'm not even talking about you. I let it go. I said, sorry. Like, I did what a real friend would do. I cut the dude off and was trying to get back cool with you, but you just couldn't let it go. And you took me being nice to you and trying to apologize and being soft to you instead of trying to be defensive. I was being genuine and you, you took it and you, you milked it. You thought you was finna just dog me and make me to be a bad person. And I'm not. And then when you said don't talk to him, why didn't you say, girl, no, really don't talk to him? She did say, but that's, what, and I'll take my wrong there because she did say don't talk to him. But I thought she was playing because literally he's saying he don't know her, even in her face. So I'm just like, I don't know. Won't do that again. Um, So we don't talk for a little bit. We're in a class without the dude. Like, I actually don't talk to the dude. She still, I guess, talk to him because that's her first love. Ooh, excuse me. Her first love or whatever. But I'm in a class and like this was this was a little bit after I went off and she heard me. So she took it upon herself. She, you know, we was gonna have class the other class after. So I knew she was gonna, you know, we was either gonna indirectly bicker at each other or she was gonna check me or I was gonna check her. Me personally, I was fed up, so I didn't care. I wasn't gonna confront her, but it was like she clearly had the problem. So I got to the class, she heard me dog her, everybody laughing, cause I, I did dog her. And I sat down and I sat down right behind her. I was like, it was one desk in between us. So she's in one row, she's like one, two desks ahead of me and I'm behind her. I have a water bottle, just keep that in mind. So we, she called herself coming up to me after I went on my little rant because I was really irritated that she was talking about me and I let it go. And she was like, um, I have a problem with you. Like she walked up to my desk, standing up, looking down at me. I'm sitting down and she like, well, I have a problem with you. And I'm like, I have a problem with you too, because why are you telling people that I, I want your leftovers and I want to be like you? It's never that serious. I already told you I don't want him. He was never that, it was never that serious. So I, I cut her off because I'm mad. I'm like, I don't want to hear it. You ain't checking nobody, sweetheart. And that's where she was like, girl, you're mad. And she, she turned around and sat down. So I'm like, I'm not mad. So you're mad. So she get to hush doing this behind her, doing, hushing me. So me, I'm getting mad. I'm on fire. I'm like, hold on. Because who do you think you... Mind you, it's a classroom full of dudes she used to talk to. So she's trying to show out. Baby girl trying to show out. She like, this is, I'm not, kind, mind you, I'm soft-spoken. So she think I'm not going to do nothing to her. Like, I'm not going to speak up for myself. So she keep hush, girl hush. So me, I'm like, tell me hush again. And she did it again. So what did I do? The water bottle was at least this full. And I took that I took that water bottle like I was a what do you call it, a quarterback where they gotta back up and aim and throw it at the receiver, whatever. I don't know, but the people that get the ball and then they gotta I threw it right at her mouth, like threw it hard. Like and this girl did all that talking and just sat there holding her mouth. And the, the classroom went from seeing us arguing and like bickering and being childish like oh they finna they finna you know it was dead silent all you heard was the water bottle slammed to the floor and i'm just like oh shit i'm about to get in trouble and me being like the girl my parents we i wasn't allowed even if like somebody's messing with me they really didn't want me to fight or do nothing like <laughs> so i was gonna get lectured like it was just like uh now nah, i'm in trouble because it's dummy <sighs> like it was just all bad like i'm like now nah, i'm finna get in trouble b i'm like i don't know why i didn't just start swinging on her because this is what even killed me here i mean i threw that water bottle hard so hard that apparently i bust her lip because she the health teacher looked at me and was like out <laughs> i'm like what i do i'm like did you not see her 
And she even seen, she was like, I know she was trying you, but you weren't supposed, trying to lecture me, like, you be the bigger person. And I'm like, no, nah, bro, like, she she was doing too much. I'm like, she trying to tell me, she kept messing with me. I'm like, no, she was messing with me. I get to call in my mom, like, hey, I just got kicked out of the classroom. I'm about to get suspended, most likely, because this girl just keeps starting stuff with me. Like, over this boy that I've been taught, stopped talking to about a month ago like you can have him i'm like i don't want him but you it wasn't over the dudes speedy it was just a disrespect like why do you keep talking about me and i said sorry i stopped talking to him i wasn't going around talking behind your back you start talking about me behind my back like i was trying to be like you like girl where she just sit there with cover her mouth and didn't do nothing so i get it she was like huh cute that's all she said so the teacher was like, you get out, you know, cut, haul, she, hallway. So I get up, walk past her. Now me, if a girl throw a water bottle at me that hard, I'm going to get up. I'm going to get up. I'm going to put my hands on this girl. I don't care if I was talking stuff. You, you retaliated. You, you initiate. This girl just sat there and was like, that's cute. You're childish, like trying to play the I'm too cute to fight role now. You know, trying to play like she didn't want to fight and like she just so such a lady. Like you've been messy this whole time. Now you don't want to, you don't want to get, you don't want to post up now. You thought I wasn't going to hit you. I'm not about to sit here and keep arguing with you, girl. I got a temper. So she's sitting there looking stupid and just talking like, oh, wow, you threw a water bottle. Ooh, I'm like, yup, and sure did and walked past her. So I get to the office, I show them the screenshots and like tell them what happened, basically what happened. And she got suspended too because she, he's, one, I never been suspended before. So they knew she did something. They're like, yeah, you've never been suspended before. You got 3.0, like you're not a bad student. So she's going to have to get suspended too, just because she's normally known for being messy. Like she's in fights, she's suspended, like. Like I said, her name's Slippy. She didn't fight, but she slipped in 2-1, didn't get to... So she was known for being messy. I wasn't. So she gave me slack there, but I still got more days than her. She got three. I got six. I'm like, I was so mad. I'm like, if that was the case, I should have fought her. Like, I'm like, I don't know why I didn't just drag her out the desk when I walked past her. But me being the awkward, like, person that I am, I don't like fighting. I didn't want to fight that girl. She was my friend. I felt bad for her. I was trying to comfort her. And then she pissed me off because I'm like, why do you keep talking about me? Like, I'm like, I felt bad for you at first. But now it's like you trying to drag me through the mud over something that this dude don't care about neither one of us. Like, he don't care about you because he said he never talked to you. Like, that's embarrassing that he tried to talk to your friend in front of you. Did not care that you were right there. But you want to fight me. You're a dummy bitch. Delusional. So yeah i was so embarrassed because people was calling me water bottle but it wasn't like bullying it was just like bruh it's not funny it's corny as fuck please don't call me water bottle it died down nobody really liked her so like it was more like i'm glad you hit her like they was kind of like on some i'm glad you hit her but it was just corny how i got suspended and like i wasn't trying to be hard but i lost my temper i'm like you're not gonna keep telling me to be quiet you gonna talk to me like you got some sense but yeah that was the only time i've had a lot of people try to like bully me and it's like when they seen that like i wasn't going to run away and back off from a fight or like just let somebody walk all over me they'll try to play like they were sparing me because i was skinny or like i was quiet and not no rowdy girl so i got plenty more stories coming but i hope you enjoyed it, it was very I regret that. I really did. I, I was um, dropped from my mediation elective where I was literally in charge of mediating fights, like keeping people from getting suspended. So I'm like, I didn't just got suspended and ruined my whole little elective. I'm like, this is this is not what we are. This is not what we represent. Like she dropped me like, girl, you can't be fighting. We got to we've got we're going to have to let you go. She's one of the nicest ladies ever. I'm like, dang, like. And she, we tried to mediate it. Now we're in mediation because that's what they do for kids that are literally about to get suspended or fighting. She started trying to tease me for stop talking to him and, you know, trying to get back with him on his good side. And we're in mediation and she's like, 
he I only did it because he told me to do it. And I'm like, so I see you like to do what people tell you to do. And she got quiet, looking stupid as hell. Everybody know about you. And I'm like, good for you, sweetheart. Like, we don't have beef. So I don't know what you're, you're, you're delusional. We didn't have beef the first time. Hopefully she don't ever, I doubt she'd ever see this, but the girl was the little off. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, she wanted to drag our, our problems, and it was never a problem. Like, I was just defending myself. But yeah, that's the story time on how I got suspended for throwing a water bottle at somebody's mouth because they kept running it. That was not worth it. Thank you for watching, and I appreciate a like, a comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more.